Hello, hello everyone, it's Philip from Limitless and I'm here with Rick Farewell who just won the regional championships in Liverpool. Uh, congratulations, Rick. Thank you. So you played the Drampa Garbodor deck and yeah, you managed to win. So tell us, what did you expect going to the tournament? Like, which decks did you, did you expect to face and why did you pick your specific deck? Um, basically, I expected a bunch of Garbodor and then from there on it was basically Ninja, for Canyon, CGI. Um, I basically picked a deck because it's actually quite simple to play in some sense. So in the, when you play like nine rounds or something like that, um, you don't get really tired or make mis big misplays. Other than that, yeah, it's basically the most winning deck of the season as well. <laughs> yeah. So basically it was, yeah, just play that. Yeah, just the best deck after all. Yeah. So really reasonable. Yeah. So let's take a look at your list. Um, your build is quite a bit different than what we usually see, at especially lately after Tort 1 in Indianapolis. Most lists look very similar to his. Um, but you have quite a bit of changes because like, you play the Magma base still and also you play a bunch of tech supporters. So um, let's talk about that. So why did you decide to play Magma base over Rainbow Energy? Um. Well, I still play Rainbow Energy, of course, but it's more thing of the options, basically. Uh, I didn't really test anything, like, anything different from, like, Rainbow only or Magma base only. Um, other than that, like, some people just play for Rainbow, but I didn't decide to do that, because the because I was afraid for the mirror matchup, and it's, <laughs> it's really shitty to actually uh, attach a Rainbow Energy to your tramp pad, which is active, and then get the edged. etched. Yeah. Um, so well. Um, also, you played like delinquent and flagrant. So did these help you a lot? Or mm, quite a few games actually. Um, I basically played flagrant for uh, basically for the mirror matchup. My main idea with it was the for the ma mirror matchup when basically someone goes ham with a dramper, for example, you can just righteous edge and team flagrant. And you. Okay. Basically, you set them back two turns and you can get back up. Mm -hmm. But that actually didn't really happen at all. And most of the time, I just use it against, um, yeah, all the drumbas with one energy or or against nine tails, like in the finals. Um, as for delinquent, um, I actually played like three last sender before that. But I decided to switch over because it didn't really need a third die center and yeah. <laughs> I basically want to... I thought, why not, just try it out. It's good for the mirror matchup. Actually, it didn't really <laughs> help me in any mirror matchup, but I only played like two or three. Okay. Yeah. Um, it actually won me against uh, Nine Tails in the top eight. Um, other than that, yeah. Nothing much to say, actually. Yeah. So, um, how did your deck work out in general, like over the course of the weekend? I think it's fine. I think I got a lot of some luck, basically a lot, <laughs> actually. Yeah, you always need luck to win a tournament. <laughs> yeah. But like, I feel like some sometimes it just yeah, it worked out. <laughs> um, like sometimes with. Um, like towards this, for example, we placed like four Drampa for Tapulator, basically for everything. But I, see, I felt like you never needed like four. That's why I put more tech supporters in. Uh, and yeah. Some people like play three Sycamore, but I felt like you just need six consistency. Yeah, definitely. I don't really see a need for three. All right, so great. I guess there's not much more to say about the Drampa deck. Everyone should know it. And yeah. Congratulations again. Now, after winning the first tournament in the season, you're of course in a great position in the rankings going to the new season. Um, you should be at number one now. So, um, what are your goals for this season and what do you expect to achieve? Um, I'm well, basically, <laughs> with this tournament, all the goals changed. Like last year, normally I would get a uh, world's invite basically every year, except the uh, last one. Um, but now, yeah, with all the money I pretty much earned a one, I can basically go to every tournament with, with, with ease. Yeah. So it should be a decent season. 
as long as things just don't go wrong or meta suddenly changes <laughs> something shitty. But yeah. All right. So I hope to see a lot from you in the future, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank and you. see you guys next time.